This is Radio Free Asia. The Rohingya are a Muslim minority group from Burma, which the ruling military junta insists are from Bangladesh and has refused to recognize as citizens. Routinely persecuted by powerful local officials in the northern state of Arakan, the Rohingya are also vulnerable to forced, unpaid labor for the military. President of the Arakan Rohingya National Organization, Nurul Islam, said Burma's military regime restricts the Rohingya's movements, marriage and education, freedom to work, and right to own farmland. All of these restrictions largely affect younger Rohingya in the country, he said. According to Islam, these conditions have forced the Rohingya to flee their mother country because it is no longer possible for them to live freely. Hundreds of thousands have fled to refugee camps in neighboring Bangladesh or attempted the perilous sea crossing to Southeast Asia. But Rohingya who have entered Bangladesh are encountering similar conditions both inside and outside of United Nations Refugee Agency administered camps in the country, leaving them with few options for a better future, he said. Last year, the group drew international attention when the Thai military was accused of towing the boats of as many as 1,000 asylum seekers out to sea and leaving them to drift without adequate food and water. Islam said that while the Rohingya have only recently been more widely recognized as Asia's new boat people, the group's flight from Burma by sea has been occurring for nearly four years. He said the Rohingya are refugees with well-founded fears of persecution in Burma and called on countries in the region to provide them with a safe haven and protection on humanitarian grounds.